inhabit that area. The difference between when I just are going to the outside, uh, located uh, something I, I found that I able to figure it found that the yellow webs, the hornet, uh, I always have seen. I have seen really shocked that that's a yellow hornet has tried to stinking at me and in a yeah. So about the uh, about like the the food like in milk or solid free. That's one of the main inspirations for raiding gear. That's that's what exactly to the yellow hornet to, as how it's uh, aggressively to try as hominy to a fork to coming in it, uh, towards the human to, and it, I'm not even uh, going to towards the hornet to, to build the nest. And I would never torch the hornet that uh, is pretty the, aggressively it's ticked off them. Like darn, so. And there's a the, the game itself that the hornet, uh, what the snake that it does taste it look like the hornet. So, uh, I would uh, imagine that. Them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Honey can also be used as a burn ointment. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it, so don't forget to pick it up. Of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out. Yep, I knew it. So be careful. That's one of the snake's famous quotes. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. Here's what the I found, Indian James. gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So, how do they... Taste? Yes, I did look into that. You know what they always say. Tastes like chicken. Sounds delicious. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. <laughs> Looks like you found a galova. Galova? Yeah, it's a fruit that's found only in that region. It's related to the jackfruit, which is commonly found in Southeast Asia. Yep, they are. They are the boys and girls. Jackfruit, huh? Yep, he's a cannibal. Huh? I didn't say anything. No, I'm sure you... I said, I'm sure you'd like it. Oh. So, I found Galova something means head not in so Russian. recently. It's probably called that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Galovas grow directly off the trunk of the tree. Hold on a second. I see a, I see a mosquito with a chair. Yeah, you can see I found some Elmo video. Gotta have to zap, zap it out of the skittles. Did I do it? Did I do it? Darn it. It doesn't as a hit the mosquitoes. If I ever did, I've seen that the mosquitoes are sitting on the front of the chair. I'm not really sure that if. If the mosquitoes are spawning the out of nowhere to the room, if I have to record this and if I have seen to hear it by mosquito, but seriously, uh, I gotta have to get us up the away from the chair because it's flying around to the mosquitoes 
after the bit me. But anyway, so let's let's get a continue on. Tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. Oh, excuse me. I see you've caught a tree frog. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. You know, like, uh, French. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? You mean, is it edible? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably? I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. I see you found a Yabloko Maloko. Y Yablo what now? Yabloko Maloko. It's a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. Milk apple. Yep, milk apple it is. It's a type of star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you cut one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. That area is home to the Sunda Whistling Thrush. The Sunda Whistling Thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. If you're aiming to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I the guy doesn't Elmo say. Did is I guess toilet. there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and I'm plump, right so I'm sure now. it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. <sighs> I see you caught yourself a rat. The rats in that area are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh-huh. So how do they taste? Snake. What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? <sighs> the guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. <laughs> I'm hungry! Oh wait, I just saw something. I'm hungry! And yeah, so I remember this by the outside that there is the fried rats, the fried rat meat. And I was the first taste it that uh, I feel like it tastes like a it doesn't really taste like a fried chicken, but instead it's fried rat. It's quite a unique uh, taste process, but... I'm back.
but rather so they eat uh, fried rats that I 